So this is uh, Kostas Lapovitsas. He's a Greek economist, lives in London, um, teaches at a university there. He's written an excellent book recently on um, essentially derivatives. It's called uh, Profiting Without Producing, How Financialized Capitalism Exploits Us All. And this is his letter, article rather, on Syriza, specifically with five questions that he seems necessary to answer. Um, this is his blog. The translation is just from Google. It's really bad. Uh, here's a decent translation. So, the agreement with the Eurogroup. The agreement with the Eurogroup is not final, partly because we do not yet know what reforms will be proposed by the Greek government today, Monday, February 23rd, and which of them will be accepted. But with regard to those reforms which have already been selected on the basis of the series of program, we have deep concerns in view of our commitments to the Greek people. The general outline of the Euro agreement is as follows. 1. Greece asks for extension of the current credit support agreement, which is based on a series of commitments. 2. The aim of this initial initiative is to enable the completion of the evaluation of the current agreement and to give time for the drafting of a new agreement. 3. Greece will immediately submit a list of reforms, which will be assessed by institutions and finally agreed upon in April. 4. The existing funds of the Financial Stability Fund will be used exclusively for the needs of the banks and will not be under control of the Greek government. <laughs> Greece is committed to fully meet in a timely fashion all its financial obligations to its partners. 6. Greece is committed to ensuring appropriate primary surpluses to guarantee the sustainability of the debt on the basis of the Eurogroup decision of November 2012. The surplus for 2015 will take into account the economic conditions of 2015. 7. Greece will not revoke measures or make unilateral changes that can have a negative impact on the budgetary targets, the economic recovery, or financial stability as established by the EU institutions. On this basis, the Eurogroup will initiate the underlying process with a four-month extension period under the current agreement and urges the Greek authorities to immediately initiate a process for the successful completion of the agreement. It is difficult to see how this agreement will be conducive to reaching the Thessalonica commitment, which involves cancelling most of the debt and the immediate replacement of the memoranda with a national reconstruction plan. Those who were elected under their series of platform pledged to move forward in the implementation of the national plan regardless of the negotiations on the debt, because we need to restart the economy and rebuild fundamental social relations. It is necessary, therefore, to explain how this commitment will be carried out and how the new series of government will handle the tragic situation it has inherited. To be more specific, the national plan includes four essential objectives, the cost of which for the first year is as follows. 1. Addressing the humanitarian crisis, 1.9 billion. 2. Restarting the economy with tax cuts, state-supported red loans, involving the establishment of a development bank, resetting the minimum wage to 751 euros, total 6.5 billion. 3. A state employment creation program with a target of 300,000 jobs, 3 billion euros in the first year, and another 2 billion in the second. 4. Transformation of the political system involving changes in local government and parliament. The sources of funding, again for the first time planned, are as follows in euros. 1. Settlement of debts to the tax office. 3 billion. 2. Combating fraud and smuggling. 3 billion. 3. Financial stability fund. 3 billion. 4. NSRF and other European programs. 3 billion. 
In view of the formal release of the Eurogroup agreement, my questions are as follows. 1. National Reconstruction Plan. How can we fund the National Reconstruction Plan when 3 billion euros under the Financial Stability Fund are now outside of Greek control, namely in the hands of EU financial institutions? The removal of these funds from Greek control makes it even more pressing for the Greek government to collect large amounts of revenue attributable to tax avoidance, as well as tackling the issue of short-term debts. How feasible is this prospect? 2. Remission. How will debt cancellation occur, given that Greece has committed itself to fully meeting all of its financial obligations in relation to its creditors in a timely manner? 3. Austerity waiver. How can austerity be rescinded, with Greece tied into conditions of debt sustainability, where primary surpluses are allocated to debt servicing, namely to make this huge debt sustainable. The sustainability debt, as estimated by the Troika, was exactly the reason for the irrational policy of allocating primary surpluses to meet debt obligations. Since the debt has not been significantly reduced, the fundamentals of economic austerity will prevail, the impacts of which will be catastrophic for the Greek economy. 4. Supervision and financial cost. How can we implement progressive change in the economy when the EU financial institutions exert strict supervision while also prohibiting unilateral actions by the Greek government and national institutions? 5. Future negotiation. What will happen in the next four months under the extension clause? What are the prospects of future negotiations with our partners? Will they yield a positive results for Greece? What will prevent the deterioration of the political, economic, and social situation of our country? This period is absolutely critical for Greek society, the Greek nation, and of course the left. The democratic legitimacy of the government rests on the implementation of the Syriza program. The minimum requirement is to have open discussion and debate of our party members, as well as within the parliamentary group. Key responses to these issues are of crucial significance, with a view to upholding the support of the people of Greece to our program. The answers to these crucial policy questions will determine the future of our country and society. Edited by Michel Chisadovsky, Global Research. I'm not going to claim to be expert on this topic. It seems that Kostas Labavitsas is not either declaring loyalty for Syriza or overly criticizing Syriza. Um, I mean, it seems like he is laying the responsibility for Greek society and more broadly the left um, in the hands of the Syriza government and he's making clear a few points that they will need to work with. And so next is the letter um, from Yanis Varoufakis to the Eurogroup president, Jeron uh, Disselblum, outlining Greece's proposed reforms. And this came out on Tuesday, February 24th. This is from Reuters. Dear President of the Eurogroup, In the Eurogroup of 20 February 2015, the Greek government was invited to present to the institutions by Monday the 23rd of February a first comprehensive list of reform measures it is envisaging to be further specified and agreed by the end of April 2015. In addition to codifying its reform agenda, 
in accordance with P.M. Tsipras' uh, programmatic statement to Greece's parliament, the Greek government also committed to working in close agreement with European partners and institutions, as well as with the International Monetary Fund, and take actions that strengthen fiscal sustainability, guarantee financial stability, and promote economic recovery. The first comprehensive list of reform measures follows below, as envisaged by the Greek government. It is our intention to implement them while drawing upon available technical assistance and financing from the European Structural and Investment Funds. Truly, Yanis Varoufakis, Minister of Finance. 1. Fiscal Structural Policies Tax Policies Greece commits to Reform VAT Policy, Administration and Enforcement. Robust efforts will be made to improve collection and fight evasion, making full use of electronic means and other technological innovations. VAT policy, policy will be rationalized in relation to rates that will be streamlined in a manner that maximizes actual revenues without a negative impact on social justice and with a view to limiting exemptions while eliminating unreasonable discounts modify the taxation of collective income, investment and income tax expenditures, which will be integrated in the income tax code. Broaden definition of tax fraud and evasion while disbanding tax immunity. Modernizing the income tax code and eliminating it from it tax code exemptions and replacing them when necessary with social justice enhancing measures resolutely enforce and improve legislation on transfer pricing, work toward creating a new culture of tax compliance to ensure that all sections of society, and especially the well-off, contribute fairly to the financing of public policies. In this context, establish with the assistance of European and international partners a wealth database that assists the tax authorities in gauging the veracity of previous income tax returns. Public Finance Management Greece will adopt amendments to the organic budget law and take steps to improve public finance management. Budget implementation will be improved and clarified as will control and reporting responsibilities. Payment procedures will be modernized and accelerated while providing a higher degree of financial and budgetary flexibility and accountability for independent and or regulatory entities. Devise and implement a strategy on the clearance of arrears, tax refunds, and pension claims. Turn the already established, though hitherto dormant, fiscal council into a fully operational entity. Revenue Administration Greece will modernize the tax and custom administrations benefiting from available technical assistance. To this end, Greece will enhance the openness, transparency, and international reach of the process by which the General Secretary of the General Secretariat of Public Reserves is appointed, monitored in terms of performance, and replaced. Strengthen the independence of the General Secretariat of Public Revenues, if necessary, through further legislation from all sorts of interference, political or otherwise, while guaranteeing full accountability and transparency of its operations. To this end, the government and the GSPR will make full use of available technical assistance. Staff adequately, both quantitatively and qualitatively, the GSPR, and in particular, the high wealth and large debtors units of the Revenue Administration, and ensure that it has strong investigative prosecution powers and resources building on SDOE's capacities, so as to target effectively tax fraud by and tax arrears of high-income social groups. Consider the merits of integrating SDOE into GSPR. Augment inspections, risk-based audits, and collection capacities while seeking to integrate the functions of revenue and social security collection
across the general government. Public spending. The Greek authorities will review and control spending in every area of government spending. For example, education, defense, transport, local government, social benefits. Work toward drastically improving the efficiency of central and local government administered departments and units by targeting budgetary processes, management restructuring, and reallocation of poorly developed resources. Identify cost-saving measures through a thorough spending review of every ministry and rationalization of non-salary and non-pension expenditures, which at present account for an astounding 56% of total public expenditure. Implement legislation currently in draft form at the General Accounts Office to review non-wage benefits expenditure across the public sector. Validate benefits through cross-checks within the relevant authorities and registries, for example, tax number registry, AMKA registry, that will help identify non-eligible beneficiaries. Control health expenditure and improve the provision and quality of medical services while granting universal access. In this context, the government intends to table specific proposals in collaboration with European and international institutions, including the OECD. Social Security Reform Greece is committed to continue modernizing the pension system. The authorities will continue to work on administrative measures to unify and streamline pension policies and eliminate loopholes and incentives that gives rise to an excessive rate of early retirements throughout the economy, and more specifically in the banking and public sectors. Consolidate pension funds to achieve savings. Phase out charges on behalf of third parties, nuance charges, in a fiscally neutral manner. Establish a closer link between pension contributions and income. Streamline benefits. Strengthen incentives to declare paid work and provide targeted assistance to employees between 50 and 65, including through a guaranteed basic income scheme, so as to eliminate the social and political pressure for early retirement, which overburdens the pension funds. Public administration and corruption. Greece wants a modern public administration. It will... Turn the fight against corruption into a national priority and operationalize fully the national plan against corruption. Target fuel and tobacco products smuggling. Monitor prices of imported goods to prevent revenue losses during the importation process and tackle money laundering. The government intends immediately to set itself ambitious revenue targets in these areas to be pursued under the coordination of the newly established position of Minister of State. Reduce a the number of ministries from 16 to 10, b the number of special advisors in general government, and c fringe benefits of ministers, members of parliament, and top officials, for example cars, travel expenses, allowances. Tighten the legislation concerning the funding of political parties and include maximum levels of borrowing from financial and other institutions. Activate immediately the current, though dormant, legislation that regulates the revenues of media, press and electronic, ensuring, through appropriately designed auctions, that they pay the state market prices for frequencies used and prohibits the continued operation of permanently loss-making media outlets without a transparent process of recapitalization. Establish a transparent, electronic, real-time, institutional framework for public tenders procurement, re-establishing the La Viegia, a sidelined online public registry of activities relating to public procurement. Reform the public sector wage grid 
with a view to decompressing the wage distribution through productivity gains and appropriate recruitment policies without reducing the current wage floors, but safeguarding that the public sector's wage bill will not increase. Rationalize non-wage benefits to reduce overall expenditure without imperiling the functioning of the public sector and in accordance with EU good practices. Promote measures to improve recruitment mechanisms, encourage merit-based managerial appointments, base staff appraisals on genuine evaluation, and establish fair processes for maximizing mobility of human and other resources within the public sector. 2. Financial Stability Installment Schemes Greece commits to Improve swiftly, in agreement with the institutions, the legislation for repayments of tax and social security arrears. Calibrate installment schemes in a manner that helps discriminate efficiently between a. Strategic default non-payment and b. Inability to pay. Targeting case a. Individuals, firms, by means of civil and criminal procedures, especially amongst high-income groups, while offering case B individuals, firms, repayment terms in a manner that enables potentially solvent enterprises to survive, averts free riding, annuls moral hazard, and reinforces social responsibility, as well as a proper repayment culture. Decriminalize lower income debtors with small liabilities. Step up enforcement methods and procedures, including the legal framework for collecting unpaid taxes and effectively implement collection tools. Banking and non performing loans. Greece is committed to. Banks that are run on sound commercial banking principles. Utilize fully the Hellenic Financial Stability Fund and ensure in collaboration with the SSM, the ECB, and the European Commission that it plays well its key role of securing the banking sector's stability and its lending on commercial basis while complying with EU competition rules. Dealing with non-performing loans in a manner that considers fully the bank's capitalization, taking into account the adopted code of conduct for banks, the functioning of the judiciary system, the state of the real estate market, social justice issues, and any adverse impact on the government's fiscal position. Collaborating with the bank's management and the institutions to avoid, in the forthcoming period, auctions of the main residence of households below a certain income threshold, while punishing strategic defaulters, with a view to a. Maintaining society support for the government's broad reform program, b. Preventing a further fall in real estate asset prices, that would have adverse effect on the bank's own, own portfolio. C. Minimizing the fiscal impact of greater homelessness. And D. Promoting a strong payment culture. Measures will be taken to support the most vulnerable households who are unable to service their loans. Align the out-of-court workout law with the installment schemes after their amendment to limit risks to public finance and the payment culture while facilitating private debt restructuring. Modernize bankruptcy law and address the backlog of cases. 3. Policies to promote growth. Privatization and public asset management. To attract investment in key sectors and utilize the state's assets efficiently, the Greek authorities will commit not to roll back privatizations that had been completed. Where the tender process has been launched, 
the government will respect the process according to the law. Safeguard the provision of basic public goods and services by privatized firms, industries, in line with national policy goals and in compliance with EU legislation. Review privatizations that have not yet been launched with a view to improving the terms so as to maximize the state's long-term benefits, generate revenues, enhance competition in the local economies, promote national economic recovery, and stimulate long-term growth prospects. Adopt, henceforth, an approach whereby each new case will be examined separately and on its merits, with an emphasis on long leases, joint ventures, public-private collaboration, and contracts that maximize not only government revenues, but also prospective levels of private investment. Unify with various public asset management agencies, which are currently scattered across the public sector, with a view to developing state assets and enhancing their value through microeconomic and property rights reform. Labor market reforms. Greece commits to achieve EU best practice across the range of labor market legislation through a process of consultation with the social partners while benefiting from the expertise and existing input of the ILO the OECD, and the available technical assistance. Expand and develop the existing scheme that provides temporary employment for the unemployed in agreement with partners and when fiscal space permits and improve the active labor market policy programs with the aim to updating the skills of the long-term unemployed. Phasing in a new smart approach to collective wage bargaining that balances the needs for flexibility with fairness. This includes the ambition to streamline and over time raise minimum wages in a, manage, in a manner that safeguards competitiveness and employment prospects. The scope and timing of changes to the minimum wage will be made in consultation with social partners and the U European and international institutions including the ILO, and take full account of advice from a new independent body on whether changes in wages are in line with productivity developments and competitiveness. Product market reforms and a better business environment. As part of a new reform agenda, Greece remains committed to removing barriers to competition based on input from the OECD. Strengthen the Hellenic Competition Commission. Introduce actions to reduce the burdens of administrative burden of bureaucracy in line with the OECD's input, including legislation that bans public sector units from re requesting from citizens and business documents certifying information that the state already possesses within the same or some other unit. Better land use management, including policies related to spatial planning, land use, and the, fin and the finalization of a proper land registry. Pursue efforts to lift disproportionate and unjustified restrictions in regulated professions as part of the overall strategy to tackle vested interests. Align gas and electricity market regulation with EU good practices and legislation. Reform of the judicial system. The Greek government will improve the organization of courts through greater specialization, and in this context, adopt a new code of civil procedure. Promote the digitization of legal codes and the electronic submission system and governance of the judicial system. Statistics. The Greek government reaffirms its readiness to honor fully the commitment on confidence in statistics, and in particular the institutional independence of LSTAT, ensuring that LSTAT has the necessary resources to implement its work program. Guarantee the transparency and propriety of the process of appointment of the LSTAT president in September 2015 in cooperation with Eurostat. 4. Humanitarian Crisis 
the Greek government affirms its plan to address needs arising from the recent rise in absolute poverty, inadequate access to nourishment, shelter, health services, and basic energy provision by means of highly targeted non-pecuniary measures, for example, food stamps. Do so in a manner that is helpful to the reforming of public administration and the fight against bureaucracy corruption. For example, the issuance of a citizen smart card that can be used as an ID card in the health system, as well as for gaining access to the food stamp program, etc. Evaluate the pilot minimum guaranteed income scheme with a view to extending it nationwide. Ensure that its fight against the humanitarian crisis has no negative fiscal effect. Reporting by Matthias Sobolowski, editing by Jeremy Blunt. Not sure if I can comment. Looks like not. Okay.